Okay, folks, we're going to do a bit of a test today. We're going to test the return to home feature of the Mavic Mini. Now, I got to do this quick because it looks like it could rain today. Um, I felt a few small drops and a little bit of white stuff even coming down. So we're going to get right at it here. Now, one thing that is a little bit funny here, this will be the absolute first time I've ever used a return to home on any drone. I've been flying drones for about 10 years, but I've always just flown them home myself and landed them. I've never really... I've never really used the return to home feature, so this is the first for me too. So let's start up the props here. And uh, launch the drone. There it is there. So now we'll go for a quick flight and uh, we'll bring it home. As you can see, we are getting some snow now. Let's uh, do the first return to home. What we're gonna do is press the return to home here and uh, see what happens. You can see, you can see there it says now returning to home and uh, we'll keep an eye out for it. Oh, I can hear it. There it is up there. You can see that it says that uh, zero meters away from me, 34 meters up. Here it comes. Let's see here. It's a little bit off. As you can see there, it's saying current area unsuitable for auto landing, land aircraft manually. So let's go ahead and do that. So it worked not too bad. It did come home with no problems. Uh, it was pretty close. It was off by about two feet. I'm gonna move all these bags and stuff. Maybe that had something to do with why it wouldn't land. So let's do it one last time here. So we'll take off. Gonna go up to about 20, 30 meters. I don't want to go too far with this rain because I'm kind of pushing my luck right now. I'm at 33 meters, so we'll go ahead and just kind of get it away, maybe uh, 100 meters away. You can see there I got strong wind warnings. So let's uh, bring it back home. So we're now returning to home. The drone is turning around. And it is a fairly windy day today. I think we've got about 22 kilometer per hour wind. So, you know, that might have something to do with why it's not landing 100%. So there it is there. It's right above us. Oh, now it's like way off. You can see that there. Huh, that's interesting. It's probably going to give me that warning again that it can't land, or maybe it might attempt to land. But, uh, actually I'm going to put it back up because the grass is wet. That's very interesting. That time it was way off. First time it was only off by a foot or two. That time it was off by a good 15 feet. So let's try one last time here and see what happens. So we'll take off. There it goes. So let's uh, bring her home. We'll see if it can do a little bit better this time. Oh, there it is there. You can see it coming. I wonder if I turn my camera down, if it will uh, make a difference. Well, that time it looks pretty almost spot on. Now it's telling me it can't auto land again, uh, but maybe it's just detecting that landing pad, that's why. So yeah, folks, there you go. We did the uh, return to home three times. Came home every time, no issues. But uh, you know, for the most part, if you can see there, it's pretty well right where it took off from, maybe off half a foot. 
first time we did it was off a couple feet that second time was off about 10 15 feet so you know that is kind of interesting but it does work it does come back to the general area so definitely if you're coming from a different drone and you rely on precision landing uh, just keep in mind that this drone is not 100 percent precise it'll get you to the rough area but not directly to where it took off from well folks that's basically it i might uh, just go for a nice quick flight and get some more of these beautiful fall colors three to four weeks from now this will all be covered in snow so got to enjoy it while i can thanks a lot for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one